In 2010, I was finishing at the University of Florida and uh, with a degree in biochemistry. Uh, so any you know, graduate at that time, you're kind of looking for jobs. Um, or I got an email through my uh, listserv from the uh, health science uh, guidance counselors at the University of Florida about this new opportunity as a scribe. Within a week, I was at the hospital interviewing for this position, and I still had no idea what the position entailed. Um, and they explained to me, you're going to keep track of physician records. So I said, great. Sounds, sounds, sounds better than cleaning test tubes. Um, I do remember going to my first training session and there's a medical terminology where you just got a lot of words that you really couldn't pronounce. I mean, at that point, I think cholecystectomy was one of the most difficult words for me to, to spell and even realize what it meant. And basically, it was removal of the gallbladder. Now it's, you know, second nature. Uh, but at that point, I remember it was one of the most taboo things, you know, all these words that had no idea. Why are we using all these words? Why can't we just use just regular English words? And now it makes sense, right? It's a whole language. It's a culture. It's something that has been around for me. It makes sense. Uh, being a scribe in the emergency room has definitely helped me being a good medical student as well as, you know, potentially a good ER physician. So essentially it's like shadowing, but you get paid to shadow. Um, so, you know, all that, all, everything you see, even the, you know, the things you pick up, you know, subconsciously, you don't even realize you pick up the organizational skills, the ability to communicate with you know, people from all walks of life, all different cultures, you get to do that as a scribe every day. So to translate that into my regular field, it's, it's a no-brainer why that enhances what I do today. Uh, if you want to get perspective, there's no other job like it. You know, at this level, when you come out of your education, your training, you can go into a position like this where you're in front of, you know, some of the best people in their field, right, some of the best physicians in their field, working with patients in the community that, you know, there's no, there's no filter, there's no contact lens in front of it or, or it's just you and, and, that, and that experience. So perspective, you'll definitely get perspective in this job and you're going to get exposed to such a high level of human emotion from the beginning and, and it's very easy to feel like you're just you're not ready, you're not cut out for what, you know, the stress of the job, the pace of the job, but I just don't think that's true. I think anything you know, requires training. You know, you see a patient code, you know, that means they're in cardiopulmonary arrest. You know, that, that, that's, that's, a, that's something that, you know, unless you've seen that before, you've seen that on television, but it's a very different experience in your life. And ultimately, you have a role there. You now have to understand your role. And that's something that, you know, can be easily discouraging is that you get caught up in what's going on, you forget what you're actually doing. But I think the biggest advice is don't get discouraged, keep at it, uh, you know, keep organized. Physicians will, will push you to, to work hard and the patients will push you to work hard. And ultimately, you know, you have a very important role.